Release. Booster PU has gone to closed loop control. Signatures look good. Pump speeds, injector pressures look good. HGR roll program has begun. Body rates look good. Booster engine continues to look very good. Pump speeds, injector pressures in band. D180 continues to perform well. Now requesting the mixture ratio change. Booster has begun the zero angle attack phase of flight. So miniatures look good. Body rates are right down the middle. RD180 performance continues to be nominal. Mach 1. Max Q. Body rates continue to look very good at this point in flight. Booster has throttled back right on schedule. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 11 miles. Downrange distance is five and a half miles. Current velocity is 1,929 miles per hour. Range track shows good progress right down the middle of the corridor. Booster engine performance continues to look very good at this point. EU control is near nominal. Body rates look good. Steering has been enabled at this point. Body rates look good. The vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight. The off limited steering has begun. Body rates look good. And we've fired the RCS pyro valve. That system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 29 miles, downrange distance 39 miles, current velocity 4,325 miles per hour. Booster has begun to throttle to maintain 3.5 Gs. Closed loop steering has begun. Body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. RD180 continues to perform well. Extra ratio looks good. Loose phase chill down has begun. And loose phase chill down has completed. Went up on Biko momentarily. And we have Biko. June shutdown looks good. We have stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Payload for jettison has occurred. Looks like a clean step. Centaur steering has been enabled. Body rates look good.
Current altitude is 118 miles, downrange distance 317 miles, current velocity 10,050 miles per hour. And blue space chill down has completed. Coming up on Biko momentarily. And we have Biko. June shutdown looks good. We have stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL 10. Payload for and jettison has occurred. Looks like a clean step. Centaur steering has been enabled. Body rates look good. Current altitude is 118 miles. Downrange distance 317 miles. Current velocity 10,050 miles per hour. Centaur PU is requesting an oxidizer rich condition at this point. Chamber pressures, injector, uh, I'm sorry, lox pump discharge and venturi are within band. Hydrogen system line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature. Ready. And we have a quick report of Atlas first stage performance. It was plus 106 pounds of PE or 0.33 sigma high. We have begun seeing our thermal conditioning ferns on the RCS. Now controlling near nominal fixture ratio also. Engine response looks good. Set MR. Centaur is completing the dogleg maneuver. Body rates are now controlling down the middle. Dogleg is complete. And Centauri has begun to roll to optimize telemetry. Are all 10 chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all look good. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 191 miles. Downrange distance is 685 miles. Current velocity 10,538 miles per hour. This first burn of Centaur is scheduled for 13 minutes and 42 seconds in duration. All systems continue to look very good at this point. Continuing to observe our thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Signatures look normal. Centaur has completed the roll to optimize telemetry. Going right down the middle at this point. Range track shows good progress down the expected corridor. Centaur PU limiting has completed, now actively controlling MR, still near nominal at this point. And we have IIP vanish, Centaur is now orbital. And we have Miko. And we have spacecraft separation. 